you? I'm really good. How are you doing? I'm good. So excited to talk with you about this project. And thank you, as always, for giving me the time. It's great to see you. Yeah, of course. Great to see you. And so I kind of have to ask you a question that I'm pretty curious about, if you don't mind, okay. because there were so many twists and turns in a good way in this movie. Like oh. I was trying to figure out the puzzle pieces as I was yeah. going through it. Yeah. So I'm curious when you first heard about the project or, you know, got involved, were you told about the twists or did you read the script and try to piece everything together that way? And if you yeah. were reading it, did you theorize? Did you try to figure everything out? It was hard. I had to like, uh, yeah, it, it, first of all, it was the latter. It, it was just, it, nothing was told to me. I just reading and yeah, taking it in. And uh, yeah, the set, I, I read it once. I immediately knew I was going to do it. Uh, and then I read it again and like kind of tried to chart the. Um, I was going to ask you that. I feel character. like I'd be right. <laughs> well, cause in this, in the read too, you, um, you know, there's no visual elements. So in terms yes. of like the character names, right? It was like, it was, so for example, the way that it was written, right? Was that character's name was like C, you know? And then, um, but the older version of that character was the full name. And so it was like, sort of like concealed oh. for the reader, you know what I mean? And you don't have the visual. So it kind of makes you go, oh wait, and is that, oh my God. Like, and you have to kind of go back and make sure that you're not insane uh, and that you're signing up for the movie that you're, uh, that you're thinking you're reading. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's, I didn't even think of having the names concealed. That's so interesting. Yeah. Because that's how it is for a viewer. You're trying to be like, okay, what, are they the same people or am I going nuts? Totally, totally. And what originally attracted you to the role? Because it is a very interesting role. I loved your take on it. And did you feel intimidated or challenged by it? Because it is such a big, like, project, I feel like. Um, yeah, well, it was, it didn't feel that way. It felt really intimate. Um, I love that. Time. Yeah, in the making of it. So, so it certainly didn't feel like a large thing. We were really tucked away, kind of down in, uh, Karnak, Texas, you know, uh, and it's kind of just immersed in that community. And I sort of like, it, it's really just signing up to go work with filmmakers that I just, I totally believed in and had faith in and um, trusted their sensibility and their passion and their talent, you know, and um and then, and I was really just like uh, struck by the character. Just, I, you know, it just as soon as I opened the text and it's it's sort of an intangible kind of like draw that you feel or that I do, you know, I guess when in terms of process of like, you know, choosing or feeling connected to something, you know, and um, yeah, I just sort of immediately, I loved how honest, he was um, written and how grounded he felt and how grounded the story felt and how emotional it was and tragic it was. And then to sort of use this kind of like roller coaster ride of like this heightened genre element to kind of like, you know, round that story out that's sort of ultimately about loss and family. And uh, I just thought it was stunning um to be honest and i just was immediately like and also cool and just so cinematic like there, there really is just a, you sort of like trust the hands of some when you're reading something that's really great you know written by people that you can like trust you can just feel it in multiple areas like it, the the script was so cinematic and their presentation yeah. of it you know started with the with how they came to it, which by the way, was a picture of the lake. They crafted this yes. after seeing the lake and they were like struck by its beauty and its lore. Like, and they went, they moved down to Texas and stayed there in a cabin and wrote for three months and just built the story inspired by the beauty uh, of this lake and this community and the sort of untapped element to it. It's like, it's like one of the 
biggest and most unique ecosystems like in um, North America that nobody knows about. So it's sort of like a fantastic, um, yeah, kind of discovery that, that you know, this, yeah. uh, that not a lot of people have heard of, you know, this, this lake. And I want to talk to you kind of about the sequence, the escape sequence, I should say, from the hospital. We are going to be talking spoilers, so you're you, free to you say. No, it's so cool that you what? brought this up. Whatever you want. Because I was just going to say, but I was rambling, so I didn't. But I was going to continue. Yeah, because it was such a good sequence. It's such a good sequence. And again, you're, there's moments when you're reading something where you're like, I'm in. I'm in. I don't even care if I don't get the movie. When I was like, the handcuff escape through the hospital. I'm right. like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Like, uh, so yeah, I was like, that's so, again, that's such a cinematic sequence. Like that. Yes. I just like love that shit, you know? So I, I, and I, I could see a, a sequence like that in the same film uh, as this, like, you know, really effective and impactful, like emotionality and family tragedy. Like, I was like, this is incredible, you know? Like, like how, how often do you get to possess two of the same things in one film? What a blend, you know? And, uh, and I just really trusted them to craft it. And I was just like, I'm just, I can't wait to throw myself into this. Like, I can't wait, you know? Uh, but yeah, that's so funny that you brought that sequence up. It's yeah. like it's my favorite things in the movie. And it was one of the key moments in the script where I was like, I'm so in. <laughs> I love that. And, and you kind of just led me into a new thought because now that okay. I'm, you know, really remembering the emotional aspects of that, because while it is this this big escape sequence, you have the handcuffs. If I'm remembering correctly, you also at one point see the TV with the missing girl. Yes. And then you also have that scene with your father in the hospital. Yes. That was all while you were handcuffed, while you were trying to escape. Like, so it hits also on the emotional aspects of it while feeling like this big, you know, big sequence. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's really hard. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't really, yeah, I remember, you know, I actually don't think I killed that part of it, but like, I, I, I have my, you did, don't even, you did. Like, I, I think when I, the, it was, what was really tough was the, seeing the TV moment. Um, cause it was like, fuck, this had, this has to be so in the eyes and like a tremendous moment in this, movie but it's also only like seven seconds tops and sandwiched in between people like coming after him you know and so like that's I was really struggled with that and um yeah and then and then the element of the father I mean that was uh we actually reshot that scene which I was like really grateful for um because that was a really tough day when we first did it and there was like a lot going on. It ended up being like a really long day. We went over some kind of the drama of the, of the set that day you sort of took the oxygen out of the room a little bit. And I, I really struggled with the bedside scene. It was kind of like, I couldn't ignore the like, you know, like people being like, we're, we're, we gotta be out of this hospital and you know, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> uh, so we got to reshoot that at a later point, which I was really grateful for. But in terms of the, building blocks of the story and the elements of that scene ultimately there was no issue for that one came a lot easier just because I was so connected to the character at that point and like that and my dad and you know and just the, the story and, and and really processing the Anna being in his arms thing and sometimes it's something as simple as that that is so again that's just you know it's an intangible element but like it's something that Celine and Logan crafted in the script that I just totally believed in and believed like to my very core you know so like I just was so invested at that point you know yeah. well you know I wouldn't be asking about it if you didn't do a phenomenal job so thank you so much like really that scene was a standout and you just killed the whole thing Thank you. I really appreciate it, Sophia. Thanks. It's great to see you, you always. Great I assume to this see is a wrap. Okay, okay. I know. I know. <laughs> I wish I could talk to you forever. You know that. I know. You're the best. Thank you, Sophia. I appreciate you. You're the best. Thank you. Cheers. Great to see you. Great to see you. Till the next time.
answers. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me.